What is up guys? Rick Kakis's wife here. Thank you for stopping by and today we are going to be taking a look at all of the brand new moon weapons added to the game with the October 29th update. Now these were initially misidentified as being the new dungeon weapons and that's part of the reason I try to avoid database videos on things that aren't in the game yet because they're often super misleading even though y'all keep clicking on them like they're going out of style, but I digress. Most of these weapons are actually dropping from the new public event available in Sorrow's Harbor. In fact, it seems to be on a daily rotation. The first day the update went live, the shotgun was dropping. The next day, the sniper rifle was a guaranteed drop. And now, the rock launcher is available. The pulse rifle seems to be actually a specific dungeon weapon. But I digress. We are going to be going over all four of these new weapons, taking a look at their stats and their perks to determine their PvP and PvE god rolls so that you guys know what to look for when farming these weapons. And so, let's get started. And let's kick things off here with the Blasphemer, Legendary Kinetic Shotgun. Looking at the stats, they're pretty decent. Now this belongs to the 65 rounds per minute precision frame archetype. However, there's kind of two different versions of it. There's like the Dust Rock Blues style archetype that says precision frame as well. And then there's this slug precision frame archetype. So this is not gonna fire a spread of pellets, but rather it fires one single bullet, similar to the Suro shotguns. However, all of the other weapons in this archetype, the slug shotties, are all, except for the chaperone exotic, in the energy slot. So this is the first Legendary Kinetic Slug Shoddy. Now, looking at the perks here, we have some very, very good options. In the barrels, we do have things like Extended Barrel and Full Bore and Hammer Forged Rifling to all extend the range. In the next category, importantly, we do have Accurized Rounds to just extend the range as well. And then, in the first section of perks, we do have some great options. Firstly, Snapshot Sights and Quick Draw are both present. These are really going to increase the snappiness and responsiveness of your shotgun. A lot of people, especially in PvP, are going to love these perks. Also, Outlaw actually goes pretty well with this archetype of shoddy, but mainly I think you're looking for Quick Draw. Quick Draw on a shotgun in PvP is phenomenal. In PvE, you may actually want to switch that to Outlaw. In the next perk category, we have the always good Rampage. This is going to increase damage after every kill, good in both PvP and PvE. Then, I think the PvP all-star here is Opening Shot. Improved accuracy and range on the opening shot of an attack. And you can do some disgusting things with that in PvP. Hit people from ranges they just are not expecting. As a backup, I think Swashbuckler is pretty decent as well. Giving you a stack of increased damage after every kill and going right to a times 5 stack if you get a melee kill. And if you're using a shotgun, that's really not too difficult. Moving on from there, we have the Apostate Legendary Energy Sniper Rifle. This belongs to the 140 Rapid Fire Frame Archetype. This is actually a really desirable PvP archetype because they shoot very fast. A double body shot is really easy with this archetype and they still kill in one headshot. And actually in PvE, they're becoming a lot more desirable as well because it turns out when you're comparing damages, a rapid fire frame sniper with triple tap is going to out damage a lot of other things in the game. But frankly, its stats are pretty average for its archetype. Moving on from there, we have its perks. Now, in terms of barrels and the first attachments, not necessarily too important, except for the fact that if you are going for a PvE god roll, you're going to need something like Tactical Meg or Extended Meg. You need to increase that magazine size. As for PvP, you kind of want more range, but I digress. Moving on to the first perk option here. The best option here is going to be moving target. Increased movement speed and target acquisition while moving while aiming down sights. That, if you're strafe walking with a sniper rifle, can be very, very powerful. 
Aside from that, there's just kind of okay options. Outlaw is, again, okay. Rangefinder is okay, improving the range, but you know, that's really it. It's moving target or kind of nothing. The second perk category, however, is a lot different. We have both snapshot sights and quick draw present here. Those are both unbelievably good for snipe rifles. They are the two most desirable perks on any snipe rifle for PvP. Unfortunately, they're in the same slot, so you can only get one or the other, and you can't get both at the same time. If you could, th this would be like one of the best guns in the game, but you can't. Then something potentially to consider, multi-kill clip for a PvE potential role, using this more like a battle rifle and taking out, you know, lower level enemies and then ramping up its damage could be something to consider. And because this doesn't have fourth times the charm or triple tap, you're actually looking for rapid hit if you want to combine extended meg plus rapid hit for insane reload as like a boss DPS rapid fire sniper. But even then, that's kind of throwing together a half decent roll. I think overall, if you can get this weapon with snapshot or quick draw with moving target, that's the god roll. Now, moving on from there, we have the Heretic Legendary Rocket Launcher. Looking at the stats here, this belongs to actually a pretty unique archetype. Its velocity and blast radius are kind of in the same archetype as the Bad Omens Gambit Rocket Launcher, and those are really not too common. So its claim to fame is very, very high velocity. So this thing is going to shoot and then hit its target, you know, in a PvP environment, that's going to be pretty useful. Now let's take a look at its perks. So we have the regular assortment of kind of different launch mechanisms. We do have impact casing, which is going to increase the damage on direct hits. This is pretty darn good. You know, it used to be pretty darn good in terms of like boss DPS damage output, but because rocket launches have really fallen from favor, I think we're going to have to look elsewhere for a true god roll. Looking at the first set of perks, the one that really stands out to me is, well, there's kind of two, I guess, but the one that really stands out is Demolitionist. This is a pretty new perk and only one other rocket launcher could get it. It is the Rise of Iron Suros rocket launcher and this is going to give you more grenade regeneration for getting kills with this weapon. Now Rangefinder is actually decent as well because it's going to increase the projectile velocity on rocket launchers. So if you really want a full velocity roll, you need to go for Rangefinder. But in the second perk category, we have some great options as well. Cluster Bomb is present, and actually, this means that this rocket launcher is the only one in the game that can get the combo of Cluster Bomb and Demolitionist at the same time. And that's really important, in my opinion, and I think that is actually the god roll, because Demolitionist is a pretty good, I think, underrated perk. Having a rocket launcher like this and increasing the blast radius by whatever way possible, then combining cluster bomb for even more damage output and the more chance of getting kills, and then demolitionist means that you can shoot one shot into a group of enemies and basically completely get your grenade back. And in PvE, that's going to be pretty darn good. In PvP, however, the lack of tracking is really what kills this, and I don't really see this being used there at all. But Demolitionist plus Cluster Bomb makes for a very unique PvE god roll. And moving on from there, we have the Premonition Legendary Energy Pulse Rifle. This is definitely a dungeon drop mainly. Now, this is going to, looking at the stats, belong to the 340 rounds per minute high impact frame archetype. And this is important because it is actually the first legendary energy pulse rifle that falls into this damage archetype. Every single other weapon in this archetype that's legendary is a kinetic weapon. So if you really like using the Redrix's broadsword, for example, well, this is going to be the energy version of that, and that's going to enable a bunch more possible loadouts you're able to run. But stats-wise, frankly, nothing really stands out. It's pretty average, if not somewhat below average, 
for its archetype. It's just the fact that it exists within this archetype as an energy weapon that makes it super unique. Looking at the perks here, we do have some decent options. First off, both high caliber rounds and ricochet rounds are present. In the first category, we do have rangefinder, which is going to be decent, and outlaw as well. Which is definitely not going to be bad, especially with a more precise weapon like a pulse rifle. Especially when you combine that with some of the perks in the second category, mainly kill clip. The fact that you can get kill clip for a damage bonus after a kill and reloading, combine that with outlaw giving you much faster reloads for getting a headshot kill, yeah. That is a wombo combo, and increasing the damage specifically of this archetype is a very dangerous thing. It's going to get you consistent two burst kills in PvP, and I think that is the PvP god rule, outlaw plus kill clip. But there are some other decent options. Headseeker is a relatively decent backup specifically for this archetype. Then Demolitionist is okay. And lastly, Dragonfly. Dragonfly is actually a pretty unique option here, giving an elemental explosion after a precision kill. In PvE, it's actually a pretty decent perk, and it can be a way to turn this precision weapon into a mob-killing master. So combining Dragonfly plus Outlaw as a PvE god roll is actually not a terrible idea. In any event, guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed, found this informative, and if you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you guys want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That's linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.